watching New GHTV. What's up, everybody? It's your girl Shanika Speaks here. UGTV is in the building at Classic Studios. The Caleb James listening session, and I'm here with Mr. Extreme. What's going on? What's going on? I, you know what? On some others, I didn't know you were Shanika Speaks. I was like, oh, whoa. Like you said your name. I'm like, oh, okay. I'll be, I'll be peeping. You know, I'll be hearing. I'll be peeping. I'm like, okay. I'll be doing your thing. That's what's up. Well, thank you. So, thank you. Okay, okay, so we had the listening session. Yeah. So have you heard, you heard snippets of the, the track or all of it? Or well, yeah. I what's what's your take on it so far? I mean, you know. I'm biased because I was deeply involved with right. the production and you know selection of the music uh, overall and, and just the grooming of, of Caleb as a whole as an artist. So I love it. I mean, I just think his diversity is uh, it's something that most artists can't really bring to the table these days. I mean, from a, from being a great rapper to also being a, as great as a singer and being able to actually pull it off to where it doesn't feel like it's forced. I think it's, it's phenomenal. So, I mean, I, I'm in su full support and super excited about the Joan project. Okay, that was something new to me. I heard him singing. They like, yeah. caught me off guard a little bit, but I'm rocking with it. So, yeah. just everything like that you put into it, like, let yeah. us know. Like, what, what was your back and behind all of that? I know you I mean, help groom as an artist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, well, I got a partner in, in the production company, and my partner's name is Jane Cash. And he actually, I had met Caleb a while ago, just hanging out in Chicago in the studios when I was living. I live in LA now, but I was living here at the time. and. Um, he uh, he was just a good kid, and we never, I never, we never even talked about working. But then my partner Damian Cash was really like, you know, I want to I want to sign uh, uh, Caleb Jane. I think he's the next the next to really blow out of here. And uh, I took a listen to him. I was just like, yo. So from that point on, I just came in, offered my production expertise with him. I mean, he's a producer too. Okay. So honestly, it wasn't like for for me as a producer, the producer side of me was like, yo. It wasn't a situation where I just went into the studio and gave him tracks. It was more or less like, okay, we went into the studio together. Talk, you know, drank, watched videos from like the '90s, like Puff and all this stuff, and just, he was just, and just talking about that. Like, yeah, no, that's what we did. We like, literally sat in this room in here and watched videos. Before the first, our first recording session was not a recording session. We came in this room and we watched videos for like six <laughs> hours, old '90s, to early 2000s, because that's his influence, and that's when he was a kid growing up. So, right. and at that, the ironic part is that he was a kid growing up at that time, but at that time I was actually deep in the industry working. So. You know what I'm saying? It was like a, a symmetry we had because that was a time that I cherished in terms of like, I got maybe four platinum records in the 90s. So right. I cherished that time, you know what I'm saying? So y'all both could relate yeah. to Yeah, and so we just got, so so from there we just started working on different records, you know what I'm saying? And then from there I was able to get his direction. Like he really wanted to represent that whole 90s sound he grew up on. So outside of the records I was able to, you know, produce with him and for him, I was able to help him select other records and make those records sound the way he wanted them to sound. So I'm just there, I'm like, I'm like, I just, whatever's need to happen for Caleb James to make it on music, that's my job. And I'm there to actually help support him in every way I can, so. That's what's up. So what type of response do you think he's gonna get from it? Like, when people pop this in and they start listening, is it something they can listen to from beginning to end? And uh, what type definitely. of response? And you know what, I'm not gonna, I don't get those phony answers, so I'm gonna- I'm Right, we want the real, No, I'm gonna be honest with you. I just think, I think that the response is gonna be there, the first time out, it's gonna be very, it's gonna be different. Because it's different. It's not what everybody else is doing. So I'm actually expecting some people not to fully get it at first. Okay. And I don't think that's a negative thing. You know what I'm saying? Because the body of work is meant to be appreciated years down the line sometimes. You know what I'm saying? So I think he's an artist that is going to be, I think he's going to surprise people. I think he's not going to come with what everybody thinks he's going to come with. Even coming from the crusade money, you know, it's like people expect him to come with a certain sound. And he got that too, but he got a lot more to add on to that. So I think he's going to surprise people. Okay, so everybody is excited about the project. Yeah. We're about to celebrate his birthday in a few yeah, minutes. A couple, so yeah, a couple minutes. We're about to turn up in the studio with him. So yeah, how can people get in touch with you? Oh man, well I'm on Twitter. I don't really do much social media, but my only <laughs> social media outlet is Twitter at this particular moment, and that's um it's uh, extreme with X X T R E M E underscore beats B E A T Z. Uh, at, you know, at Twitter. You know what I'm saying? That's me. All right. Well, y'all heard it here first. We in Classic Studios. We about to sing Happy Birthday to Caleb James in a few minutes. Yeah, like I don't right even now. think he know. I'm going to surprise him. <laughs> but we here listening to the set. We listening to the new joint. So, like, everything is off the chain. We about to turn up. Extreme is in the building. UGTV is in the building. Y'all stay tuned. What up, y'all? This is Extreme Beats from Chicago. You know what I'm saying? You know, producer extraordinaire. We had the Game of James listening session. I'm, I'm here with UGTV, giving you the realest and the realest and the realest of all the hip hop in Chicago and nationwide. You know what I'm saying? So keep tuned. UGTV is popping.